Here's a close up view of that, that same brake assembly. It shows the clamp mechanism, uh, the 4130 fabricated bracket. See how that moves on the uh, spindle back and forth. Use some adjustability for changing the track width in the front of the cart and also centering the, the disc on the, on the caliper. And you can see the, uh, the added on bushing sleeve here. It was added to the stock spindle. Uh, the key that uh, is cut into that that uh, orients the, uh, the brake caliper bracket on the spindle. And like I said before, this will this will get brazed on um, permanently, and this is heat shrink uh, fitted onto the spindle shaft with about a one thousandth interference to begin with. So this all goes <coughs> together like this. The hub goes on this way. You can see the clamp fits inside, which makes this all very compact on the on the, uh, the stock. Uh, stub axle on the spindle so we don't have to go to a very long spindle and, and go to a wider track width than, than is normally used on um, this period of cart which is actually from about 1974. So these clamp screws you can access right here through the, the hub if you can see that and uh, you can tighten up the uh, clamping bracket there on the spindle to fix the, the caliper position. There's um, spacers that slide on here like on most carts that properly space uh, the tread width for the, uh, the front of the cart and then you would adjust this bracket to center up the caliper on the, uh, on the disc after setting that track width. Okay, and this is the, the front brake uh, hub and spindle. You can see the there's a bracket here, um, really a clamping mechanism for moving the caliper and centering it on the disc. This um, whole hub assembly I'm spinning can move in and out on the uh, on the axle to change the front tread width on the cart, and that's done by taking this nut off and uh, loosening this clamp and sliding the whole caliper and the in the hub off, and then changing the spacers on the back side and sliding it back on. The <clears throat> clamp is accessed through these holes here um, to get to the clamp mechanism which is actually inside the hub and the reason I put it inside was to keep everything very compact so it would all fit on the stock stub axle which is the authentic length that uh, Invader used on his car so I didn't want to make the front of the car overly wide and take away from the vintage look of it and the design of the frame for handling. So I was able to maintain the uh, the front tread width by, by using this type of a design. So this, this is all custom made and fabricated to, uh, to do this job. You just can't buy things like this today. They're, they're made for other purposes and modern type carts and designs. And, and, uh, but Thank uh you. -huh.